I'll explain why. Let me bore you for a sec. Okay. Yeah, it's very nice <laughs> summer. <laughs> what are we doing? Barbecue boy. Now, in actual fact, again, it's one of these things that's misnamed. It's called a plantar cuboid. It's actually an everted or medially rotated cuboid. So the cuboid's dropped on its medial border that way. Um, I'll explain where this comes from in a minute. One way it's done is this way. You have the patient like that, and then you basically push down through the cuboid that way. It's not great on your thumbs. You use this one on children, when it happens in children. I'd strongly suggest you don't use this one in adults. The other one that's done, or the other way it's done, both in this position and in the standing position, is to whip the cuboid in that way. Now this isn't to be recommended. The reason is that you start smacking the back of the ankle against, or the calcaneus against the back of the ankle, and you're going to set up a traumatic um, periosteitis there. It's really not the right way to do it. And most of the cracks you get are coming from the ankle anyway. Right? The best way of doing this is, and the more difficult way to do it, it's not that bad, it is more difficult than that, is, stand up for me, stand there, face away from me. So just put your hand on the bed so you've got some balance. I'm going to do your other foot. All right, give me your left foot. It's called a horseshoe technique for obvious reasons. Um, first off, you've got to be very fussy about where your fingers are on the cuboid. I need to be... Now remembering that the medial border of this has dropped down. I need to be on that medial border. If I'm on the lateral border when I do this, I'm going to push it further into the subluxation. So again, we found out where that medial border was this morning when we were doing service anatomy. Your thumb, when it's on it, and you can feel the ridge again, but it really, if you're not in line with about the second toe, you're probably too far lateral. All right? But you should be able to feel that now. So there's my thumb on it there. The ankle's dorsiflexed and it stays dorsiflex through the whole thing. Now the thrust is along the plane of the leg, but a little bit lateral. There. Okay? And that's all it is. Now if you waggle this, you'll start to think, feel things moving. And you just thrust out. Okay? That's the way it's often done wrong. This. And again, that's like a start problems at the back of the ankle. So just keep the ankle dorsiflex, thrust through the plane of the leg, and a little bit lateral. Is that okay? Now the other thing that happens is that the navicular will do much the same thing. It will drop this way into inversion. You simply come over, get onto it as far as you can medially, on its lateral border rather, of the navicular, and you thrust now in a little bit that plane. Same plane, through the plane of the leg, but a little bit more medial. Is the thrust um, happening because of the force of your um, push with your thumbs, or is it happening as the rest of her leg is no, no. stopping? I'm, I'm actually pushing through my thumbs, aren't I? When I do that, my thumbs are the last bit in contact with the sole of her foot. So I'm not doing that with my thumbs. My thumbs are transmitting the forces from my shoulders to the cuboid. Right, but I'm saying, um, is, the, is the manipulation occurring as the leg stops its, its forward momentum? Or is it happening as, as you are starting up? I don't know where in the, in the thrust it's occurring. It just occurs. It just happens. Yeah. I don't know where it is. That's it. I have no idea whereabouts in the thrust that's going to work for you. Because the, the, um, the same kind of technique off the side of, with the leg off the side of the table, the idea is as, as you throw the leg down. Yeah, I know. That's these, this, 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 because that'll come to a dead stop. That's and it's yeah. a dead stop. That's the problem is your dead stop's occurring at the back of the ankle. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you don't have that. But let, yeah, <laughs> what you've got to be careful of, I'm picking the lateral leg for a reason, the outside leg for a reason. Give me your right foot. Uh, yeah. Is, this isn't difficult to do, and you smack it a little bit further over, you smack their leg right into the leg of the table. <laughs> now, and that's, not, reflex. that's not very pleasant for their knee, but that's not your real problem. Your problem is what happens to your thumbs when that occurs. Yeah? Do the outside leg, just make sure you don't smack it. Jump, let me have a new body, I'll do it again so you can see what's happening. You're in the wrong spot to see what's happening now. <laughs> Are you okay feeding yourself? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Far lateral on the cuboid as you can get. There, dorsiflex the ankle. 
you basically flex and extend the hip. This is the movement you're going for, and there's your thrust. There. Well, that's all it really takes. Is that? Okay? <coughs> all right, go do that. <coughs>